Today's Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank. The community bank where you come first. You're watching Spotlight, and today I'm joined by Lauren and Alex Humes of Camden's Comfort Project. So welcome to the set. Thanks. Thanks for having nice to us. Be here. We're excited to talk about this. It's a new organization, and it's an organization with a purpose, which I know we're going to get into. But I'm going to start with you, Alex. Talk a little bit about the mission of the organization. Yeah, um, Kim's Comfort Project, which we refer to as CCP, is a 501c3 uh, nonprofit organization um, that is actually located right here in Naperville. Um, we were founded in 2015, um, and we are solely funded by uh, contributions from individuals and businesses um, who are just looking to support our goal. Um, so our mission is essentially to provide comfort and hope uh, to uh, babies that are born prematurely and their parents um, who may be spending time in the NICU. Um, so that's really what we're looking to do. Our board is made up of all volunteers, um, family and friends, so we really try to keep you know, any donations that we get go straight to the blanket. So we try to be as efficient as possible with that. Okay. So hope and comfort through blankets. Exactly. Love it. Love yeah. it. Absolutely. Lauren, talk a little bit about why you founded the organization. And I know this is a tough one, but share with us if you would. Sure, sure. So Alex and I um, are husband and wife, and we're also parents of, uh, of a baby named Camden. He was our first son. And um, I can tell you that Every day, thousands of babies, like our son Camden, are born prematurely or sick, and they spend time in the NICU. The NICU is a neonatal intensive care unit, a specialized uh, facility um, for young babies. And it's, it's a really challenging place for, for both the baby and the parents and the family. Uh, if you can imagine what that feels like to have your child in the hospital and you to not be able to take home that baby each and every night, it's a really stressful, fearful place to be. We also understand what it's like to be bereaved parents. Camden spent a couple days in the NICU before we had to say goodbye to him. So we understand what that feels like and we wanted to do something special in Camden's name. And it made a lot of sense for us to pursue a charity that gives back to other parents who are experiencing similar both life or loss from the time they've spent in the NICU with their child. Um, one thing that was very special for us and which, which really gave us this idea was Camden's grandma had thought to bring a nice cozy blanket to, to the hospital as we had Camden there in the NICU. And that was such a special, such a special gift. And we didn't understand it really until even afterwards, after we had cuddled with with Camden with that blanket and we've used it in photos and it's touched his skin and to be able to take that home with us after he passed away and to know that how special that is uh, we wanted to be able to give back a similar gift of comfort to other parents and so this that's why we founded the organization and we're we're so blessed to be able to to give back and to help provide a little bit of comfort maybe a, a second of a smile for a parent who's going through such a challenging time well, I, th I think, first of all, um, words cannot express uh, the feelings for you and your loss. Um, but I think you've so touched on something. I mean, you think about children and you think about blankets. Uh, I have three kids, and every one of them still has their blanket tucked Absolutely. away in their box, and they're yeah. quite older now. Um, <laughs> but that sense of that comfort and, and it not being a mm -hmm. sterile environment in the hospital, um, that's really quite, quite... Uh, Right there, so many feelings, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and that special blanket that we received from Camden's grandma um, was uh, gray and white polka dot, and you can actually see that in our logo too. It's the same logo that Camden Bear is holding, so oh. it's it's very special to us. It's a it's a great reminder of why we do what we do. So, That's wonderful. Yeah. Talk a little bit, if you would, Alex, about where you give the blankets. Yeah. So we have been donating. Um, we donate all over the Chicagoland area. Um, we've actually been able to make inroads into uh, Iowa and Texas, so we're really excited about being able to expand um, to those areas as well. Um, and recently, we have moved to Naperville from Chicago, so now we're really kind of focused on, you know, expanding here more locally in the De uh, the DePage County area. So okay. we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Lauren, now I know you head up a lot of the blanket making activities. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that, and I think you have some parties as well, right? Absolutely. We have a lot of blanket parties. 
Um, and there are a lot of different uh, stages of blanket making that anyone could assist with. And it first starts with finding the fabric. And we're very good at couponing and going to Joanne's <laughs> fabrics on the, the biggest sale days, especially Black Friday, while others are at Best Buy looking for gadgets, we're looking for fabric deals. And okay. so once we stock up on that fabric, we have enough for the year. Um, we then tackle it in what we call the prep stage, which is to get it um, cut down into one-yard segments. And then we pair a solid pair, uh, fleece with a pattern fleece. So it has a nice dual texture to it, and we cut the fringes. Um, and that's a lot of times we'll do that in a couple rounds of blanket cutting parties. Okay. And um, and you just cut the, the ties here, which will eventually be uh, turned into a blanket. Um, once we have all of the, you can imagine, stacks of blankets that we end up with, hundreds, um, which is so exciting then because once we have those ready, we can move on to the next phase, which is the creation and the assembly process. And generally, we do that in our blanket parties. And we have blanket parties with a, a variety of different groups. So from employers to um, church groups to uh, just a group of friends. And so it's, it's a really fun way for people to give back. And you don't have to have any sewing skills at all. Um, you just have to be able to tie a double knot. So, and sometimes that can be a bit challenging. I tried to teach my children that, and that was a bit challenging. But and depending on the fabric, some of the fleece is stretchier than others. So right. sometimes it can be a little hard. But um, we've always found a way for people to contribute at our blanket parties. And the, the easiest way is to just uh, have the assembly and the, the tying be done at a party where people don't have to think too much about it. They can yeah. just sit there and relax and, and tie the, the fringe along the edges. And so once those four edges are assembled with the, the double knots, then you have a nice um, finished product here, which is a, a beautiful size for a little uh, NICU baby. You can see here um, it's, it's a great size and it's a perfect comfort measure for them. Um, but to get it to the baby, there's that last step of the process, which is to take those, those finished products, to wash them, to roll them up. And we generally will roll them up here. We uh, do a nice ribbon and a tag, and then we get those out to the hospitals for our social workers to then uh, deliver them off to the babies and to the families that are in need. They're, they're generally targeted for uh, parents that are expecting to have a longer stay in the NICU okay. or have had kind of a challenging rough day. So we really rely on, on that group to do that piece for us and they have such a tough job and we're very thankful to have them as partners. So. Well and I'm sure they're very appreciative of what you're doing and the ability to be able to give something nice and again yeah. a little bit of comfort and a little bit of hope at a, at a challenging Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So Alex, Talk a little bit about the impact of what you're doing and the work that you're doing with Camden's Comfort Project. Yeah, we really measure the impact, obviously, by the amount of blankets we can produce. Um, we currently are trying, we've produced over a thousand blankets so far, so since 2015, we're really proud of that. Um, we shoot to do about 500 a year, so that's kind of our goal. Um, but that's kind of how we measure it. But really, I think the biggest, our biggest reward is just kind of hearing the stories of, you know, from the people who receive them. Um, from the nurses, from the social workers. So just kind of hearing, you know, how it may have impacted them or just those kind of stories, I think, are what really kind of drive us and, and make us, you know, want to do better and, and increase our, our volume of blankets. So that's, that's really what uh, drives us. Well, I think those are extremely good measures. Lauren, what's been a, a memory that's really kind of stuck with you? Sure, sure. Well, outside of what Alex mentioned about having the thank yous received from the parents, which I feel like is... We were so excited the first time we, we received a thank you note. Um, that's very special. But I also, personally, being part of the blanket making activities, um, having those youth partners have been one of the most special times for me. To see children who are you know, in fourth grade who want to give back and they're just having so much fun assembling the blankets and they really understand where those blankets are going and to be able to see youth so motivated and so caring about other people is just really inspiring so i feel lucky to be able to help share that with them um, we've done girl scouts and church youth groups as well as a student council groups and to see those those young people just uh, being philanthropic at such a young age. I just, I love to see that. So that's been some of our favorite memories. And we've also 
We've had some younger kids as well show up, and we've always found a way for them to contribute. One of our latest parties, we had um, the three-year-olds give the blankets a hug Aww. for the babies, so they would hug the blankets, and, and they, they understood what was, was happening. And well, was, you're teaching empathy. Absolutely. I think you're yeah, teaching empathy absolutely. in that, mm -hmm. and, then, and in many ways, that's what you're showing to the parents that you're supporting, is that empathy and uh, sense of hope and sense of love. Absolutely. Yeah. You're amazing, and, and I, the project is terrific. I wish yeah. you didn't have to start it, um, but I know that Camden would be super proud if you were here, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you would like to learn more about how you can get involved in Camden's Comfort Project, please go and visit their website. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more Spotlight.